show you my school. This is Jay. In my school, this is the administration building, which is this building. So here we have the science building. And this is the main area, the library and the campus. And then there is the English building, where I work. Garbage pile that sits just outside the gate of the school. A lot of things in China look very nice on the outside, but don't look so good once you look close. Oh, and here's a fellow <laughs> teacher of mine, Zhang Hong Fu, as he rides into school. And what looks nice on the outside oftentimes does not look so nice on the inside. Maybe we will get a small look inside the English building here. Inside the classroom building, here is one of my classrooms. Uh, very simple, very plain, just a blackboard, some wooden desks, and some fluorescent lights on the top. Very simple. And if we look out here, this is the main area of the building. Uh, it is open to the elements, open to the outside, and it doesn't get too cold here. Coldest maybe around 35 degrees. Uh, the students still have to come to class though, and so do I. Okay, now we're going to head to Jane's side of the river. Here in my room, um, <laughs> I say, this is my room. Um, last year I, I had my own separate apartment, the two rooms and my own bathroom, and sort of a kitchen area, but um, at the nunnery here, Huanan, we, don't, we only have a room and I basically share a bathroom with another um, colleague of mine. So, see all the Christmas cards I got, and someone gave me this Christmas tree. If you want to walk down, that would be nice. And we already got a couple of presents under the Christmas tree. And on my lovely door. The Bethesda House has four floors, and I'm on the third level. Can go upstairs. Uh, Two phones in this house, Mom. When you call me, this is basically the phone that I'm using. <laughs> Usually, people in the house can hear when you're on the phone. So, very little privacy. Should I mention that? This third floor was built back in when when Japan um, had occupied China. They built the third floor of this particular building. It makes it interesting. And here is the balcony of the third floor. We also have a balcony on the second floor. I don't want to show you the second floor. This is the view that we have. The middle school right behind us. And this is where we hang our clothes. For the laundry. <laughs> laundry clothes. Nice. This is the Min River, the major river that divides Fuzhou and 
I'm on this side and Jay's on the other side of this river. And the other side of the river also has uh, has all the good shopping and the good places to eat. This side is, uh, I think it's a little bit older than the architecture. A lot of things haven't come down yet. You want to pan down this way, you can still see the rooftop. Not the same kind of buildings that you see on the other side. This bridge here was, had just collapsed, I think, a year ago or a year and a half ago. It used to be a lot quicker to get over to the McDonald's, which is right across this bridge. But since it broke down, uh, we have to go across the, across the way. It takes a little bit longer to cancel the roof. There's a couple making uh, bed spreads, basically. Just outside James Gate. The, uh, one of the outdoor markets, it's got a lot of vegetables in it, so we'll walk through and show you some of it. They have some glutinous rice cakes. Uh, there's not a whole lot of bread here that's made traditionally, but there's a lot of glutinous rice type cakes that are made traditionally. Fried noodles, made and dried. Prices on them. This is unusual. Some fish balls, yeah. It's unusual to have prices on them. Some fish balls, and meat balls, and probably bean balls. With sweet bean inside. So we have some people playing cards, some gambling here. Here to our right is someone cooking something on their coal stove. Coal is still used for everything here, not kerosene, but little bits of coal. There's a lot of pollution in the air. Everything's covered in black dust half the time. Joe is about 25 kilometers from the coast. We get a lot of seafood here. Some of it taken out of the sea, of course. Some of it not taken out of the sea, taken out of local lakes and rivers. Here we have some small sharks. And also some prawns over there. Some shrimp. Some oysters back here. Some oysters over here. They like to open their oysters and fry them. Pigeons. Pigeons are supposed to be real good to eat. Or uh, you can also buy them chopped up. Some chopped up chickens that we'll show you in just a minute. The meat section. You see they chop up the meat for you right here, just like in the butcher shop at home. Come up here. So you can get your spare ribs. Or you can get your pig's head there. You can see the ears. Now you got your uh, livers, you got your backbone. Nice slab of baby back ribs there. This is all pretty much pig meat here. You can also buy the pig fat. Uh, but down here we have some chicken. Looks like some chicken wings, chicken legs. Right 
have some ducks. You know, these ducks have seen better times. Something you might want to buy in the morning, not in the mid-afternoon. We rarely buy our meat uh, in the open market, sometimes the chicken in the morning. But, uh, we do eat, eat at restaurants that buy the meat from these various places. I haven't gotten sick from the meat yet.